What drink is this? I don't know. Park, it's 105, so it's just really, really hot. I don't really like wearing the AC when I'm by myself because it's kind of like a waste. You have that that Filipino mentality. Just run the fan if you're by yourself. I've always wanted to make that DIY air conditioner that I see on YouTube all the time, and today seems like the perfect opportunity. Wait, we're gonna make an air conditioner? Kind of. It just kind of like blows cold air in the room. It's like a cold air blower as opposed to like an air conditioner. So we're gonna head to Home Depot. I'm gonna see if I could get all the materials and uh, try to build it. All right, so we're here at Home Depot. We're trying to get our stuff to build this portable AC because it's so freaking hot. Hopefully it works. You think it'll work? I don't know. It should work. I think we need one of these, right? The black is... Look at this. Which ones do we need? I don't know. Does it work, G? I think so. What do you need for to get the hole in here? Something like this. Just like, drill the holes. Pretty much all we need? I think so. We need the fan though. How are we gonna get a fan? I have one at home. Nice. Use that one. Okay. All right, we finally have all of our stuff. Let's go build this AC okay. unit. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> Now we gotta stick these things into the little holes here. Oh! Got it. Ah, got it, perfect. Just put on the lid. Put on the fan. And it's ready to plug in. That's it? We gotta put some ice in here. And then it blows out cold air? Should. What According to uh, all these YouTube videos. <laughs> wait, so. so oh, I mean, So wait, all you have to do is put ice? Yeah. Boom. Boom. Oh, there you go. Moment of truth. Nice snug fit. Let's turn it on. All right, step back. Maybe it takes a while. <laughs> I don't know about this one, Peach. It doesn't feel cold. Oh, man. Really? Try it, try it. Hold on, let me try it. What you think, bro? It feels like somebody has ice in their mouth and they're blowing it on my face. So it's cold. From like eight feet away. <laughs> like to enjoy it, I have to be like here. Take out the fan and just point the fan to your face. That's more enjoyable already. That's what I said. <laughs> Stupid YouTube. Let's just go eat it. Guess it's still hot though. <laughs> Man, I'm so pissed that the air conditioner didn't work. Pretty frustrating. Like it looked, it like it had all the right science. Just didn't happen though. Everybody on YouTube, like theirs works. It's fake probably. Or maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe just YouTube is fake. So on this really hot day, I decided to bring PJ for some cold poke. What's poke? It kind of started in Hawaii. They started cutting up the fish, putting it over rice bowls or salad and stuff like that. What's different about this poke here? So the thing about this place is that they serve this poke taco. Poke taco? Yup, you like tacos. I love tacos. You like poke. I love poke. So I think it's gonna be a good place to go. So let's go in and check it out. tacos to try. PJ, which one are you most excited for? I usually like spicy things, so I'm really excited for the spicy tuna, but I can always come home to salmon. I would have never thought of using tempura on seaweed for tacos. So let's start off with tuna. This is just a tuna aku poke. So it comes with tuna, crispy onions, and avocado. And if you can see, that's the tempura shell right there. That's so genius. It has a little crisp. You see that? Oh, ooh, fudge. Check that out. Dude, look at this taco. It looks so good. It's crispy. Cheers. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
That is freaking good. That is so good. The crunch from the seaweed shell, the crunch from the crispy onions, a little bit of that like oil from the sesame oil, it goes together so well with the tuna. And you gotta have the avocado because we're from California. I think the most underrated part is that the seaweed is salty. And what that does is like, it gives it like almost like a tortilla. It's like a tortilla. All right, so this is my favorite one here. It's called the salmon poco. It has a little bit of salmon, some edamame, and some crispy garlic in there. PJ excited? All right, so let's go for it again. Cheers. What is that? It's a tea for taco. Move your head, dude. <laughs> you gotta go the same way I do. <laughs> yeah, he's the other way, jerk. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. Mirror. The salmon tastes great. And they put some of that Groot on there. What's Groot? The guy from, <laughs> from Guardians of the Galaxy. I think this whole place is just like a study in texture. It balances all the flavors and the texture so well. They have that yuzu sauce in there that you can really taste the citrusy mm -hmm. in there. And the Groot. <laughs> Now we're gonna go for the last one. This one's spicy, but it has the tuna, has furikake on there. There's a mango habanero dressing in here that I'm a little bit afraid of. PJ? Uh, uh, <laughs> Take it out to jalapenos? It's just a high volume of jalapenos in there. I'm scared. Dude, 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 dude. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh! oh. Mm. You taste nope. the mango? <laughs> I thought it wasn't spicy, it is. But the mango, the mango flavoring is great. This is actually a good a good heat level for me. Not me. Honestly, it's growing on me because the mango sweetness is really good. All right, so we tried everything. We are gonna try to finish the rest of this. We're gonna let our camera guy, Jeff, eat. We will get back to you after. So we just finished eating at Akupoke. Oh my god, it's so hot, I regret doing that. All right, so we just finished eating at Akupoke. Lord, sorry. <laughs> Some of the most creative taco shells that I've ever had. Uh, I never would have thought to tempura seaweed and make it into a taco shell. I think what also makes it really good is that the owner really cares about his ingredients. Like I saw them cutting their avocado to order. They're using fresh sprouts. A lot of their fish is really quality. And on top of that, it was just a great balance of textures. I mean, I love the flavors. Sometimes a little bit spicier than I wanted it to be, but everything else is so good. I know we just came from the taco festival, but I really think that these tacos gotta be there. Yeah, if they were there on their own truck, they would kill it. Hands down. One more thing, I would just like to, again, thank the person who is ever brokering these deals because the alliance between Hawaii and Mexico is amazing. Okay. Make our stomachs. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we're leaving Acapulco now and our stomachs are hard. But our hearts are happy. So PJ, let me ask you, did the food live up to the hype? Yes, it did. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for checking out the video today. We really loved Akupoke. We really love the stuff they had here. But if you guys like watching us eat, then please subscribe to our videos. If you're already subscribed, hit that bell button down below. If you guys have been here to Akupoke, let us know which one is your favorite. And if you think of any other cool foods here in Alhambra or in the greater Los Angeles area, put them in the comments below, and we'll try to check it out. And stay tuned for more hype food.